The long awaited day for government to arrest the fears as raised by the opposition wing in parliament came along on Wednesday afternoon session chaired by Speaker Anita Anit Among. The marathon session first tested the patience of the opposition members who had on condition returned to the House after several weeks of boycott. Better late than never, the Minister of State for Internal Affairs, David Mohosi, took to the floor to respond to the claims of human rights abuses and shrinking of civic space in Uganda, as stated by the leader of opposition, Matthias Mpuga, on 19th October 2023. Mpuga asserted that Uganda is among the worst human rights abusers fueled by alleged victimization of Muslims, widespread detention without trial, and continuous incarceration of opposition supporters at Chitalia government prison. Lopumpuga further cites human rights violations in fishing communities, including claims of rape, defilement, murders, unjustified arrests, and legal closure of landing sites. But from his tone, Minister David Mohosi first accused the opposition of generalizing the claims, putting the country's civic space at stake. I want to comment from the onset and to debunk the misrepresentation in the title of the statement by the Honorable Lop about the generalized claim of gross abuse of human rights and so-called shrinking civic space. In response to the alleged disappearance of a one prominent man alias John Bosco Chibalama, Minister Muhoz described it as no witnessed disappearance. Where the lead of opposition attributed an alleged disappearance to security had been reported earlier by the relatives of these people as unwitnessed disappearances. And these include Kasumba George, uh, Kisembo Godfrey, and Kipalama John Bosco. Muhozi accuses the opposition of championing what he described in his statement as a well orchestrated smear campaign of aiding people who seek to go abroad in search of livelihood opportunities to claim political persecution or persecution for belonging to sexual minorities. These false and mendacious claims against government are unfortunately sometimes believed by those in the host countries who are gullible to take these claims as true without verification. Government also refuted allegations of victimization of Muslims and claimed that there are more Muslims in detention than any other denomination. Minister Muhozi revealed a report from Uganda Prisons Service as of September 2023, stating that Muslims constitute only 16.4% of the inmates in all Uganda prisons, rallying behind Catholics who are 43% and Protestants are 29.5% respectively. It is therefore clearly not true that the number of Muslims in prisons is bigger than that of the other denominations, even in relative terms, in terms of population ratio. The lead of opposition, Matthias Simpuga, calmly composed himself, asking the presiding officer to accord his wing time to prepare a rejoinder to the minister's statement. I was only short of uh, raising a motion to reject it, but I thought it, after consulting with my team that we are better off threading it by responding to it with a rejoinder. This is not the first time government waters down allegations by the opposition regarding human rights abuses in Uganda, among others. Daniel Mugoya, Shamim Naiga, UBC News.